In this tutorial, I want to talk about how to process and deliver 360 panoramas. These are the panoramas that you open up either in an app or a plugin in WordPress or simply as a web page. And then the user can just click and drag to see different parts of the image, which is presented to the user as a 360. So let's get to it. The first thing that we need to do is, well, to take the panorama. And I'm not really going to go over that. Uh, I just want to go over the processing, uh, but it's really easy to do using DJI drones. Basically, you just go to the take the panorama and uh, it just does it by itself. About the only thing that you need to remember is to save your images as DNGs. In other words, digital negatives and not only JPEGs. So the JPEGs will be taken anyway because it's a panorama and then the DJI app is also going to stitch it for you, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to take the digital negatives and we're going to process them in our computer. In this case, I'm using Windows and I'm using my Dell. I'm using an app called PTGUI or PTGUI and I have the pro version. I have version 11.32. They have other versions now. I just haven't upgraded yet, uh, but there are other apps that you can use. So right now I am in PTGUI Pro and I'm just going to click on load images. So you can see they're not too many, but I'm going to select them all anyway. A control A will do that. Command A if you are on the Mac and yes, PTGUI does work on the Mac. I'll click on open and there you go. All I have to do now is click on align images, but look at the options here. I could add more images, remove or reorder them. In this case, I find that this is completely unnecessary. So I'm just going to align the images. And there they are. You can see that it's giving me this already stitched as a 360 panel and it's giving me some transparent parts here at the bottom, which is really the top. And you know what? I could just turn it upside down in here and I could fix it, but I'm going to open this in Photoshop anyway. So this is all good. I'm just going to close this and I'm going to click on create panorama. Now I'm going to click again on create panorama and it's going to stitch it and it's going to save it for me. Now, see the output file here? It just did this by default and now I have my panorama. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to open this file in Photoshop and it's this one here. It's called Pan Pano 0001 and I'm just going to open it up and in here, I'm going to uh, to fix it. So no, I don't want to crop it. The first thing I want to do is I want to rotate this. So I'm just going to go to image, image rotation and 180. And it's that easy. I can just fix this like that. Now I need to fill up this part of the sky. So I'm going to do that by selecting it. And now I'm going to go to edit. Fill, Content Aware, and I'm going to click OK. And this is going to create the parts of the sky that are missing for the 360 panorama. You see, this was taken with the Phantom 4 Pro, and the Phantom 4 Pro cannot put the camera all the way up. So there is no way that even taking all the photos in the world that it can give me a real 360 panorama. Now, the thing is, that even though this did it pretty well and it stitched it pretty well, I am not entirely sure that the left edge and the right edge of this picture will agree. So let's fix that. To do that, I'm going to go to Filter, Other, and I'm going to go to Offset. And I'm going to offset this image horizontally a couple of pixels here to the right, 
and you can see that the building is perfectly aligned and all of that, but the sky isn't. So I'm going to click OK, and now I have to fix this line here. I can fix it a number of ways. So I'm just going to grab the lasso tool and I'm going to select an irregular part. So see here at the bottom, it's stitched pretty well, right? So now I'm going to right click inside of that selection and I'm going to feather it. And, uh, you know, 25 pixels is pretty good for the feather uh, um, radius. So I'm just going to click OK. And now with that selected, I can do a number of things. I can smooth it out, I can blur it, but I'm just going to try Content Aware Fill again. So edit, fill, Content Aware. It's taking a little bit because this is a large image. And there it is. This is not too bad. I'm going to deselect it. That's a couple of things here that I can fix. So I'm just going to run the Spot Healing Brush tool here, and I'll just do one of these just to smooth it out a little bit, you know. That's better, but I still don't like it. So I'm going to select this part here again. I'll feather it again. I'm going to give it a wider feather, maybe 50 pixels. And again, I'm going to go Edit, Fill, and then Content Aware. Let's see what that does. Uh, let me deselect. And you know what? That's not too bad. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe this line here, I'm going to fix it just this tiny little bit. And now let's go again to the Filter, Other, Offset. And let's see. That is pretty good. I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to save this at its maximum. And I'm happy with everything else. So once it finishes saving, I'm going to go back to PTGUI. And now I'm going to go to Tools, Publish to Website. And in here, I need to tell it which image I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on this plus sign to add panoramas to the list of files to be processed. And it's going to be this panel. Click on Open. And now I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Penthouse 307 because that was the height in feet where the drone was to create the panel. So these are things that uh, people hire us to do before the building is built so that they can start marketing what the view will be from that altitude. So in this case, the penthouse is going to be at 307 feet. So they're just going to use this 360 to market that view before the building is built. So here we go. I'm going to save this in... in the 360 panel, and I'm going to call it Penthouse 307. Click on Save, and now I'm going to click on Convert. This is going to convert all of these files for the web, and I'm going to show you now what was created. So in here, you can see that I have my web page. It's an HTM page, and then I have JPEGs that are numbered 01, so 00, 01, 02, et cetera, et cetera. Then I have some JavaScript and I have a Swift file. If I try to open this, it's going to tell me that it failed to load Panorama due to security restrictions in Chrome. And this is going to happen no matter what. That's because both Windows and Mac have security measures already built in. So how can you preview this? Well, Let's go over that. I'm going to create a folder here, and I'm going to call it Web Panel. And I'm going to put all of those files in there. Now we need to download and install some kind of a web server that will let us 
preview these files into this computer before we deliver this to the client. Now, before going on, I can tell you that that JPEG panel that we saved from uh, uh, Photoshop is enough to deliver to the client. They can use a plugin in WordPress and in other uh, web apps that will let everybody see the panorama. This is just in case they want to have a web page with those images acting as a panorama. That is what PTG UI created for us. And for us to preview it, we need to install this server. So I am here in MAMP, a MAMP Pro. You can simply download it. So it's just MAMP.info, E-N, downloads. Uh, you can just do a, a search for MAMP or XAMP and just click to download it. And I'm going to download it directly to the 360 panel folder. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And then I'm going to install it. Now that we have installed MAMP, we can open it by double clicking the icon that was created directly on the, the desktop. And you're going to see that in here, the Apache server, which is what we need, is already turned on. If it isn't, just click here to turn it on. You can uh, click on stop servers if you don't want it anymore. And uh, to turn them back on, just uh, click on start servers. And notice that the Apache server and the MySQL server uh, turn back on. And I'm not really going to go too much into MAMP, uh, but all we need to do right now is open the web start page. And notice the URL here is localhost slash MAMP. Localhost slash MAMP. So we need to find out where this local host is inside of our system. Well, let's go back to MAMP and let's go to MAMP preferences and let's go to server. So in here, you will see where the document roots are. So it's on the C drive, MAMP and HT docs. You can even open it from here. And by the way, this is the Apache server, which is what we want. Click on open. And this is what we have. We have an index.php page, etc., etc. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder here. So I just right click new folder and I'm going to call it 360 panel. And I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to double click it. So now I'm going to open a new file browser window. I'm going to go to desktop 360 panel, and this is the web panel. I'm going to select all of these images, all of these files, and I'm going to put them here. And there you go. In here, notice the name of this is penthouse 307. I'm going to do uh, an underscore so that I don't have any kind of uh, uh, empty spaces. So now I'm going to go back to MAMP, local host. I'm going to paste the name of the folder. This is the folder that is inside of htdocs slash. And now I'm going to copy this name. and paste it here. And here is our panel. You can see that if I just click and drag, I can see everything in here. This is a little antenna. The stitching came out beautifully. I can look completely down. And this is a true 360 panel that before I deliver it to my client, I can preview in my own computer. Now that I know that everything looks good, I can go ahead and deliver this to the client with instructions to leave all of those files together. About one thing that you should keep in mind is that if you go all the way up, you're going to see that the stitching up here <laughs> doesn't look so good. I mean, it's just like little squished in there. 
There are plugins for Photoshop that you can get so that you can put a logo in there or whatever. But in reality, I find that this is completely unnecessary. So, you know, there you go. This looks pretty darn good. And this is how you align and then publish and preview a 360 panorama using PTG UI and MAMP. See you next time.